Hi, so if you're going to make nickel ion batteries, then obviously one thing that you need is some multi-hydroxide, because that's the main component of one of your flames. Now, I did do a method for making this uh, using nickel oxide, but I thought it was a bit involved and that there would be an easier method where you could get hold of the chemicals more easily and it wasn't as involved, and sure enough, there is one. Now, this one uses um, this stuff which is caustic soda or just drain cleaner is sodium hydroxide um, this stuff which is ordinary household bleach or um, sodium hypochlorite actually is what that is and you want the thin stuff not the thick stuff because the thin stuff really is just a five percent sodium hypochlorite solution and then you need a, a nickel salt and in this case we're using um, nickel chloride which is this green stuff because it's really easy to get hold of and quite cheap now they use this for electroplating nickel onto metal also, so it's very easy to get hold of now what you need to do is dissolve um, your sodium hydroxide in 200 milliliters of water and there's 16 grams of sodium hydroxide in there and to that you need to add 150 milliliters of um, your bleach solution so that's actually at 200 milliliters at the moment so if I bring it up to 350 then that's the right concentration Okay, so you'll notice I'm outside doing this obviously because it is a bit stinky to do it inside and not really appropriate. Now the sodium hypochlorite acts as an oxidizing agent. If you just did it with the sodium hydroxide and the uh, nickel chloride you'd get a double displacement reaction and the um, nickel hydroxide would drop out but it would be nickel hydroxide and what you want, uh, rather what we want, is nickel oxyhydroxide. So the addition there of um, the sodium hypochlorite make sure that we get the uh, oxidation to the nickel oxyhydroxide so once you've done that literally all you do is add your nickel chloride solution and in the nickel chloride solution there I've got 26 grams of nickel chloride in um, 100 milliliters of water and if I drop that into there you can see the oxyhydroxide forming almost immediately as the insoluble blackish precipitate there. So I'm going to stir that while I add that. jelly black and it's just kind of a blackish brown nickel salt and we we'll leave that to separate out and that is our nickel oxyhydroxide and just leave that to separate out filter it wash it and that's what you're going to use for your battery plates anyway i hope that was useful to you and thank you for watching